To save or not to save? That is the question. Hello and thanks for tuning in to another When It Comes Down To It. When deciding whether materials or contents can stay in the built environment or need to be disposed of, there are three major things to consider in each case, whether it is a content or whether it's actually physical building materials themselves. First and most important thing is you need to know the material and the construction type. So whether this happens to be a soft stuffed animal type toy, um, can it be restored? Can it be restored safely in the environment that it has been exposed to? Or whether you're talking about building materials, something like concrete. You need to know the fundamental basic construction of the structure you're going to be working on as well as all of the systems in it, HVAC, electrical, plumbing. And when we're talking about the content side of things, again, not just the construction of those materials, but also how they can be restored. So this is a large amount of previous education that needs to be done before you can make these choices. Second most important thing, of course, is regulatory issues and then other agencies that we have best practices for, such as ANSI standards from IIIC or C. So in our building construction side of things, we not only need to know the construction, but we also need to know codes. So that the building, if we're going to tear into anything, are we going to affect anything such as smoke evacuation systems, fire alarm systems, or just a general HVAC? Also to make sure that the building retains a structural integrity integrity during and after our reconstruction of that building. So it's critically important to know those things. Let's take a very specific contaminant. Let's look at water for a second. Water can come in with contaminants or it may mix with contaminants in the building. And because of that, we have the IICRC's S500. That gives us the categories of water and how to react to those categories of water. So it's a classic example of a specific contaminant into the building. Always make sure, again, you know your regulatory for your building as well as your contents so you don't make any mistakes there. Because these first two, we don't have a lot of decision in. The third thing that we need to make sure of is customer satisfaction, and that is the customer's preference with the materials we're talking about. Now, a lot of customers aren't going to get too concerned about a piece of drywall here or there, but when you start getting into contents, they do tend to get much more concerned. So we need to look into the value, the intrinsic value as well as the actual value, sentimental value. These are all in someone's mind. Now, if I have no regulatory issues and I have absolutely no physical issues as far as quality of the structure after restoration, then basically the customer's preference is going to be the choice. The biggest issues here is remember, just because the customer has insurance doesn't mean insurance is going to cover the customer's preference. So this needs to be found out and you need to make sure that all charges are laid ahead of time so the customer's preference is replacement and the insurance company doesn't cover that replacement, you're not paying for that replacement or doing it for free. Remember, when it comes down to it, the three most important things is know the construction of the material and the type of material it is made of. So that way you can decide upon whether it's restorable and or what the process would need to be to restore it in the first place in order to save it. Secondly, always make sure you're obeying all regulatory rules out there and making decisions based on the best policies of organizations in your area. And thirdly, of course, customer preference and how it's going to be paid for at the end of the job. That's how you make that decision. Not an easy one all the time, but that's the best way to do it. As always, thanks to CNR Magazine for distribution of the series, and thanks for learning with RTI Learning. Know your material and know the construction of that material so you know if, if it can be resaved, if it can be resaved, if it can be restored. Let's talk about a specific can. Let's talk about a specific content. Oh boy, here we go. Let's take a very specific. Let's do this right. When it finally. <clears throat> so when it comes on down to it. Hello, and thanks for tuning in to another When It Comes On Down To It. I knew I was going to do it. 
This is what I want to do four in a row, so we can keep that rhythm going because it definitely works. Gotta get the bloopers in. <laughs> yeah, well, it's true too. Always got plenty of bloopers.